In this video, I'm gonna be breaking down kind of a, a new style of passing that I think is really, really important uh, for your success on the offensive side of the football in Madden 23. Now we're gonna use Trips Tight End to teach this out of, but you can honestly kind of apply this basic concept uh, to anything in this game. And the concept is essentially West Coast passing. And what do I mean by what, when I say West Coast passing? Well, essentially, we wanna be able to have quick dots that we can call routes that get open quickly against pressure or against coverage defenses, either one. We wanna have the ability to beat both of those with these play calls. And so I'm gonna show you in this video one of my favorite personal, um, just simple quick reads that I really like out of the play PA slot corner. I think PA slot corner is probably one of the most versatile passing plays in this game because it gives you routes that you can really use in a lot of different uh, a lot of different ways. So we're going to use trips tied in to teach this. If you want to get my full trips tied in offensive ebook, make sure that you are in our Patreon page. If you're not in the Patreon page, it's only ten dollars to sign up, and you get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. I've got nine currently, and we're going to be uh, releasing our tenth ebook early next week. So really excited about that. And again, if you want to check that out, link is down in the description. Okay. So PA slot corner, why is this play so good? In my opinion, it's so good because of a couple reasons, but the main reason is because it is a play action play. We know that play action blocking is the best blocking that you can possibly get in this year's game. It helps block blitzes. In fact, um, you actually get shedded less, at least in my opinion, um, you get shedded less if you call play action, okay? That the blockers engage better with the defensive line for whatever reason. It also contains three really powerful routes, right? It contains that you really, at least right now, can't hot route. It contains um, a really nice tight end corner route that's pretty good against man. It contains this little uh, slot of sharp cutting post route that's actually really good um, that you can motion over into a corner route or leave it as a post. And then you also have this um, this little quick uh, or this this corner route. It's actually one of the better corners in the game for beating man to man. So you'll see here, I don't think I have outside apprentice, but the corner route that you get in this specific play is a little bit better for beating main coverage. So with all that in mind, that is really one of the, that's kind of why uh, this formation is really, really powerful. And so, like I said in the intro, um, I wanted to kind of introduce to you essentially a new method for passing the football, and that is quick passing. Uh, we want to basically make sure that we're having quick reads that can get open uh, against any defense. So one of my favorite setups for this play currently is basically this. I love to double drag. I think that uh, mesh this year is really good. So if you do the double drags over the middle, they, they will kind of help you get some separation against man. And then I'm going to motion this outside receiver across the formation. and I'm going to put my running back on a wheel. Now from here, you kind of have some choices. Uh, with what you want to do with that solo receiver. You could put him on a C route. You could put him on a streak, which I think is really underrated. Um, and then you could put him on an out route. I think out routes, these little quick outs do a great job still at pulling zones. Um, you know, you could put him on a post if you want to, but I think the post just takes a long time to get open. So my personal thing that we're going to do here is we're just going to put him on a quick fade, quick streak, okay? So what we're looking for on this play is we're going to look to our running back first. That's kind of our quick snap read. And then we're going to look to our mesh. So, And then from there, once we read the mesh, we're going to go to this post route about that time. That's when that will be coming open. So we're going to look to our running back here, not there. But you see our drag to our tight end is wide open. Now, why is this play so good against the blitz? Because, again, you if you think about it, the play, the, the actual routes, they just get open faster. They just get open faster, okay? So I'm gonna set up kind of a, just a standard way that a lot of people are blitzing right now. We'll just do uh, a base alignment version of this blitz. Uh, and then we'll kind, of, we'll kind of adjust it as we need to here uh, once we motion across. But this is a five man blitz, kind of similar to spinner. And again, here's the basic routes. Uh, what I like about this streak and the whole purpose of it is to clear out zones. Um, just by having a, a streak on the field this year, it does significantly help clear out zones. So that's just something to kind of tuck away um, for as the meta, I think the meta will eventually shift to zone. Uh, but anyways, 
So if you look at this play art here, you're going to notice, obviously, that when we motion over, it can certainly affect the opponent, and now they have to make adjustments, right? So, again, this is basically spinner. Okay, so now they have to kind of adjust their main coverage. It's going to look something like that. And you see that now our running back has a chance to out leverage them to the right side of the screen. Why? Because we are in a balanced formation. And if you send six out of a, what I like about trips tight end and why I think trips tight end was such a valuable offense to really, I think, learn. Um, because if you can learn trips, you can apply it to a lot of other formations in this game. Okay. But what makes this so powerful, and I'll show you, I'm now in, in a spinner or whatever the play is called out of uh, DB Sting. So if you watch, you see see here, so this this time they motion over with me, right, which is great. Um, you know, so a little better alignment if you actually come out in the play. But you're still having this issue where this guy's manned up on the running back and this guy's here to shoot a gap for the run, okay? So you're still having that same basic problem. What I like to do um, is when I'm trying to pick up pressure is I like to slide my line away from my running back and tight end and ID the opposite side corner um even if even if i'm sending five out so that's just a little pro tip there um, but anyways what you should see here is we get that switch off that time and the tight end was wide open over the middle so you're just giving yourself really really quick um the idea is basically i'm just going to give myself really really quick reads that can get open against man and can get open against zone as well so again um you know obviously the pressure is really good out of this defense uh, I'm not trying to sit here and say it's not because I literally wrote an ebook telling you that this is probably one of the best. I think if you're going to be a true blitzing defense, one of the fastest blitzes in the game, DB Sting is. Um, but anyway, what you'll see here is look out there. Okay, they go. Now I'm throwing the ball right there. And again, I, I'm getting part of the reason, honestly, that I'm getting uh, screamed at. I personally think that practice mode, the blitz actually works a little bit better than it does in game. Um, especially when I'm just not, you know, making a ton of adjustments. But you see the idea is we're, we're giving ourselves a quick read. Now, um, another thing that you can do with this is you can motion block Williams if you wanted to motion block him. You still have the same basic idea, um, you know, with the two quick, quick hitting drag routes. Uh, to me, that's the biggest you know the biggest piece of this you can throw this and he will still get open as you see even with a man switch you can snap throw that and it's still actually a pretty decent little read okay so how do they stop that they basically have to um you know essentially they have to kind of stop blitzing the slot corner on the running back side and now their blitz isn't as good dollar and one four six and two three six and all those defenses this year those are really primarily best ran when they can blitz both corners, okay? When we take away their ability to do that with quick throwing and stuff like that, obviously it's a read. I'm not saying that it's not. You have to read the defense quick, okay? But when we start to take away their ability to do something like that, now we get into this, something like this where, you know, now they are got to go to zone, and you see how good that route is against zone, that quick throw wheel really important route this year probably the most important route for beating the blitz because it requires um it requires significant attention so if they wanted to beat the let's say they wanted to stop your wheel route but they still want to blitz okay i'm gonna man up the running back and this is an adjustment really high level players will do they'll man the running back up with the corner on the right and then what they're basically going to try to do here is essentially do something like this right something like that okay really really good uh really really good adjustment now as they do something like this okay look who's open my tight end so you see how even against an adjusted zone look we can still beat a lot of a lot of defenses and we can still have routes that get open like relatively quickly um you know compared to last year where we were just basically rolling out and we were throwing crossers left and right okay now so now they're going to have to be forced to drop a little bit more. Maybe they play zone. Um, you know, there's a lot of things that they could uh, potentially want to try to do. You know, but really the beauty of this is, let's say that they, you know, and again, you want you want your plays to attack different parts of the field. That's that's the whole point of like 
on one play we're attacking the left side now we're going to attack the right side you know you want to obviously use the entire field and you don't want to call the same play every play because it's a little too easy to kind of adjust to it um, you want to force them to adjust and then attack different areas of the field but what's really nice about this is this post route is one of the most consistent routes that i've found um, for beating man with no ability you don't have to have an ability on him and he will be able to beat man really, really easily. So if they're dropping a curl flat zone over here on this side to stop that, now they as a user, or they have to drop a zone right in here, they are having to put a lot of resources to stopping the um, the route to the triangle receiver there, uh, guy, the middle trips receiver. So then it becomes a really easy opportunity to hit your tight end drag. And again, these little five yard dots, they're really important this year. Like I can't stress enough how important it really is to take your five route, five yards, like take your five yard dot and be happy with it. Honestly, um, you could also do something that looks kind of like this. This is kind of a, a variation um, of the setup, which I think is actually pretty decent. You know, do something like this right here. This circle receiver will clear out zones and then you can throw that kind of in that window. Um, but essentially the idea here is, again, you just, you've got to give yourself quick reads. Like I can't stress that enough. Like it's so important this year to give yourself a quick read. So like the out back to the out route for just a minute. I think the out route is really underrated because obviously man is going to guard it, right? But if they're not a man, I could throw that real quick, get it out there quick. You know, now they have to adjust. They have to man him up or they have to, there's a lot of things that they have to do, um, you know, to stop that, right? And then we have our wheel route, which is gonna kind of serve as a makeshift streak. And I'll show you that. So this is cover four now. So let's say they man up, or let's say they hard flat out of cover four. That's probably a better solution. So here's a hard flat, watch my running back, pass lead inside, boom. And I'm not free-forming the running back streak. I don't feel comfortable with free-forming to do that. Um, I will say the running back wheel or the running back streak, if you do put him on a streak, um, it's a little bit of a tender throw this year. It's a little bit more hard um, or more difficult to, to throw that. Uh, but anyway, now they've got to adjust there, which is going to leave that wide open. So you see how we're kind of like funneling their adjustments and knowing – they have to do a very specific thing to stop what we're trying to do. So let me give you an example. So again, um, they're going to go to this and then they're going to basically man up. I'm going to motion this guy over, you know, maybe they man up this out route. Okay. That's pretty common. It's a pretty common adjustment. So they're going to man this guy up. Well, now their user in the middle of field is going to get high load in the middle of field. Right? Um, so now my user has to go guard the wheel. Okay, because the wheel will attack zone or they have to man the wheel up, right? So maybe they do something, maybe they do something like this. And you see how we're going to kind of over adjust a little bit. They're going to use her, the, the, the big play, which is the post, of course. And watch what happens in this concept. Now look who's wide open. So you see how we're kind of like attacking every little area of the field quick. I think that's a really important tip. I think it's something that's going to help your offense a ton. Uh, guys, we're out of time for today. I wanted to go into some other stuff, but we'll do that. We'll save that for a later video. Thank you so much for watching this. If you want to get our full trips tied in ebook, make sure you join our Patreon. Link is down below. It's only 10 bucks. And again, like I said, it gets you access to all the ebooks and all the updates to those ebooks as long as you are a member.